Now, 4WARN Weather with Exact Track 4D Radar. Exclusive technology for the most up-to-the-minute weather information in your neighborhood. All right, we've made it here to the weekend. Kim, things start out warm, but we could see a little bit of everything as the days go by, it sounds like. This weekend's like. going to be a little extra, a little, <laughs> a little, little, extra. Dr little dramatic this weekend because we'll be, you know, probably break a record tomorrow, at least tie the record. And then Sunday, we get this blast of polar air. So we'll get some rain, we'll get some snow, and temperatures near 60. So a little bit of everything for everyone this weekend. 53 in Detroit, it's mild in Howell, 50 degrees there, 49 in Pontiac, and 53 in Adrian. So very warm today thanks to those southerly winds we will have near record highs tomorrow the record is 58 and I think we're going to go a degree past it but it'll be close uh, gusty winds you'll notice that this weekend with winds gusting over 30 miles per hour and then showers do return for the day tomorrow 53 downtown 50 in Howell 51 in Ann Arbor 52 in Jackson low 50s in Adrian and also in Monroe upper 40s in Mount Clemens Lapeer and as I said in Pontiac it's about five or six degrees warmer today than it was yesterday yesterday was a pretty mild day as well 34 uh, four, four degrees warmer in Mount Clemens five degrees warmer at Metro and six degrees warmer right now than it was just 24 hours ago in downtown Detroit Lots of clouds in place. We started with some sunshine, then we started to get some filtered sunshine, and now we're pretty much all socked in with those clouds. But the snow out in Bismarck still well out to our west, and by the time it gets here with all that warm air, we look for more rain than we do the snow this weekend. But cloudy skies right now will continue to have the clouds around overnight tonight. Could be a spotty shower or area of drizzle, and same thing for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we'll have some dry periods. It won't be an entire washout throughout the day, but spotty showers off and on. Then we'll get a break. And then in the evening, as a cold front comes through, we'll get more showers, especially if you live on the east side. Everything should be done and over with by 11 o'clock on Saturday. We could have some lake effects, rain, snow showers on Sunday, but Sunday looks to be the drier of the two days. If you're headed to Soldier Field, well, it's going to be a cold and windy day, but it does look like it will be dry for the game. 35 at 1 o'clock, that's the kickoff. Winds will gust over 20 miles per hour. Obviously, they're in the Windy City, and it's going to be quite windy tomorrow, so that's going to make it feel like it's about 25 degrees. High temperatures. We go from 59 tomorrow down into the upper 30s to low 40s on Sunday. 49 will be the overnight low tonight, so our low tonight is higher than the high will be on Sunday. And then tomorrow, I think that's going to be a record breaker with a high of 59. A few scattered showers, windy and very warm. Future forecast. Well, after we get through a few flurries on Sunday, it's smooth sailing from there with sunshine Monday all the way until Friday with temperatures hovering either just below or slightly above normal for this time of year.